Hello, everyone. Ted Clayton here. This is yet again, another, excuse me, another installment in the series, Proof That Most Women Hate Short Men. Now, I think at some point I may amend that title instead of most to some, because here's my theory. Um, I think it's only truly a small percentage of women that actually hate short men versus a bigger percentage that just have the uh, an incorrect perception of men. And that's probably from uh, a social construct, which I don't want to be too so-called progressive when I say something like that, but I think that there are certain things that are imposed on us or we've, we're kind of holding on to old ideas and you can even uh, uh, lump that in with more uh, pri uh, primal ideas and mindsets, consciousness. But then also it's, entertainment, cult, mainstream culture. I love movies. I love music. I love the arts. But also, it could be where certain ideas just constantly keep being reinforced. So, uh, that's that. So, but anyway, that's the, the verdict isn't out on that, and that's not a hit on that. I'm just sharing that. So, uh, this is something that just happened to me just a couple moments ago. Right now, it's 3 o'clock. This was about an hour ago. I was on my way to 7-Eleven just to get some stuff, and this woman, this girl, just rammed right into me, just bumped right into me. Now, I'm here in NYC. I'm in the Times Square area on the west side, so it's pretty crowded. And again, like I said, it's 2 o'clock on a Saturday, pretty crowded. Uh, and of course, I try to take the uh, streets, you know, back roads, whatever, uh, that's not so busy, so I can just... It's not because of any kind of social uh, anxiety, anything like that. It's just because it's Times Square. So that's that. But it still doesn't matter. Um, but what I... What came to mind is, and this is actually as I'm doing this, I actually had this happen to me not too long ago, where, now this is different from women being, some women, some women, being, uh, not being self-aware of their surroundings, or maybe just uh, too distracted with other things, and they'll uh, bump into you. And with this, I try to not take it too personal. It does get a little annoying because you feel like, well, I'm a short guy. If I was a bigger guy, she'd just instantly notice me. But then sometimes it's probably just women just not noticing anything. So, But it still does, does get annoying. However, it was about two weeks ago, this girl, and I felt it, she bumped right into me on purpose. And this is a certain kind of mind state. This is this kind of crusade because they don't know you. They don't know me. So, But they already imposing something on me or having a certain prejudice on me. So that's basically bigotry. Uh, and again, you can even dial it down just a bit and say misandry because it's this kind of consciousness. But anyhow, uh, but I noticed that this girl was pretty strong. Not this one that I'm sharing with now, but this other girl from two weeks ago was pretty strong. And I want to touch on that topic in another video, but it has to do with women becoming more muscular. And in, in short, because I know I'm, I haven't laid out the uh, issue just yet. So in short, my theory is that this whole movement of women become more muscular, now, just with anything that women want to be a part of that men are traditionally a part of or normally a part of, I don't really have a problem with that if it's genuine. I'll leave it at that. But with this whole muscular movement, what I think it is, what I think it is, and I have to say this just to be careful. Um, I mean, I, I'll speak frankly, but I'm, you know, just to be careful since it's being put out there in public. Uh, this is a more medical term, so I, I want to be careful with the wording and the terms I use. So there's a certain kind of possession, psychologically speaking, that uh, takes over women, and what they want to do is uh, take on a more dominant, uh, masculine kind of um, uh, presence, right? So what I think this is is probably women that were traumatized in some way, and now what they, they want to be able to feel like they can defend themselves, uh, that they're not going to be weak anymore. But the problem is, when we're talking about the difference between men and women, which some people don't uh, agree with or some uh, acknowledge, that's a different story. But when we're talking about that, I feel like it's putting too much energy into that, which is not recognizing your differences, and then instead of finding a man to actually protect you. That's a different story. And, you know, that's kind of leading someone down a rabbit hole. So, um you know, a kind of a brick wall. So, you know, I'm going to leave that at that for the moment. Um, so I think some people get where I'm going with this. So what happened? Again, another woman just bumped into me uh, purposefully. So I'm going to 7-Eleven. All that to say, given a premise and all that to say, I'm going to 7-Eleven and I'm just getting, getting some stuff. 
there's this family. I think they were Spanish from Europe or maybe South American. <laughs> then comes these, you have the, the, you know, the rest of the family in front, then behind is these two girls, probably, probably late millennials. And we're about to cross paths. Me and this one girl just crack, just bump into each other. Now, here's the thing. The body language, the, 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 the impact that I felt, felt like the person was bracing for impact. I think you guys see what I'm, what I'm getting at. So it's not where when you bump into someone, like I was saying before, where some women, or just people, but some women could be thoughtless or aren't self-aware of their surroundings, where you bump into them and you could feel their body, it, 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 it comes as a surprise. They weren't ready for it. But this felt like when you felt it, they put their shoulder into it. They were bracing for impact. And, you know, it definitely hurts, of course. Not, not physically, but it definitely hurts, you know, your heart a little bit because you're like, wow, you know, what was that about? Um, but it's a thing where as I'm getting older, I'm looking at you know, these situations. I'm looking at it now and thinking to myself, okay, I'm de- I can detach more from them because you start to see that this is a certain type of mindset that someone's in where they, they're fixed on a certain idea. They don't know who I am. And moreover, they don't know my intent. I was actually trying to be, you know, again, this is crowded. It's New York City. So I'm being, uh, I'm showing etiquette. I'm being respectful, of course, uh, in pedestrian traffic. So I'm moving, but you know, it's New York City. And also, I'm a tough person, but I'm also a New Yorker. So I'm not going to contort myself to get out of someone's way. But, you know, it's it's a give and take. So, you know, I'll I'll nudge over a little bit, but I'm not going to contort myself, you know, go walk on the sidewalk or anything like that. If it's unnecessary, I'll just nudge over. But this person wasn't moving. And, you know, when you want, let's say, for example, you're about to cross paths with someone. uh, And it's, let's say, two people or a group. And those people don't move, even though they see you. And it's a group. So they can, they should shift around, collapse a little bit so they can let you through some give and take. But when someone just stays in place, that means they're not caring. And then, or they're just thoughtless. But then when you feel that they were actually bracing for impact, then that's a whole different story. So that means they actually saw me. So that's that. But now here's what was interesting about that. The girl, it was, like I said, two girls. The girl that she was with, so this girl, she kept walking and then turned around, right? And I turned around after taking a couple steps. I turned around and then I said, Please watch where you're going. Loud enough. Not yelling, but loud enough where she can hear me and everyone around me can hear me. You know, of course, like, it's a scene now or it could it could become a scene. So, you know, bring attention to it. But not enough to be dramatic, right? Uh, histrionic or anything. So I'm like, so I say, uh, you know, please watch where you're going. But interesting. Interesting thing. The girl she was with turned around and she looked at me and her eyes told me that, had a sense of shock in it. And I think, I think what happened was, I think maybe it was a little bit of an epiphany there where she may have said, oh, wow, these short guys are not lying. Because the other girl, remember, the, the girl that collided with me, she didn't turn around to explain herself like, hey, you know, I'm, you know, I'm going this way or I, I saw you and, you know, I'm trying to move this way. She didn't explain herself. She just kept walking. I just saw her back. The other girl turned around, and she was just, she didn't say anything. She just looked at but she looked straight in my eyes. Um, and uh, what was I going to say? Um, so, uh, I, I forgot, but I'm just going to continue. Um, it was just, oh, that's what I was going to get at. Is This is why I believe, yes, we're in a culture, this believe all women culture. It is what it is. At the same time, I strongly believe that men, and for this video, short men need to stand on their square because there are women looking, real women, mature women that are looking. And that's going to send a message to them like, no, all that stuff you see on the Internet, that, that, that wasn't a lie. Now, yeah, some of, them, some of those people are, you know, too depressed or, you know, beyond, a, beyond, a, a, beyond you, know, um, you know, they're hopeless or, you know, just kind of at the point of no return or whatever. They're just doomers or whatever, or they're just way too negative. That's whatever. But the fact of the matter is, no, there is a certain kind of, uh, misinjury, this negativity going around. 
And you see right there, they are, look at how they're behaving. They don't have to explain themselves. You know, again, that's, that's a point right there to say, no, like, I was trying to do this. And when I turned around, there was this, when I turned back, you know, going the direction I was going to, there was this, uh, this Hispanic guy, maybe a Mexican uh, guy, uh, and he... I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to him, but like kind of talking, thinking out loud, but I'm actually talking to him and he doesn't make eye contact. Like, like you know, that like he didn't hear what I was saying. But I was like, you see that? Like she didn't even turn around to explain stuff. She didn't even turn around to look at me. And basically just acknowledging, like, you see this? Like they would turn around and say short men or X, Y, and Z. And this person, even if, even if it was my fault, they couldn't even turn around. They didn't even turn around to explain themselves or to justify what just happened. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what's going on, you know? So when things like this happen, then it becomes, well, now you, when it's clear cut, and this is why I say short men, to all men, really, but short men who I'm really addressing and just, you know, uh, you know just sharing my thoughts, uh, you know, speaking as, as one myself, need to stay on the square because then other people start to see. So you define by what they're doing. Now, people can identify what's happening. Now there's proof right there. So that person defined the per person that collided with me, per per purposely collided with me, they defined the parameters of the relationship. And now you have people, now you have witnesses. Now you have people that, that being witness to what's going on. See what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm going to leave it with this. You know what I find interesting? I mean, I'm, I'm breaking this down. You know, I'm sharing all these videos. And just, it's just, it's su such a multi-dimensional thing that's going on. It's so weird. Um, and, you know, as I, I'm getting older, I'm a early millennial cusp of Gen X and millennial, uh, millennial generation, you know, this stuff was different. So now this kind of hyper superficiality is just weird to me, but you know, it is what it is. My thing is, of course, when it crosses certain boundaries, you know, that's when you got to respond accordingly. But the way I see this is, you know, for someone to just reduce you to just your height. And for me, it's weird because I, I feel like I'm an exceptional person because some of the stuff I accomplished, things I've been through, it's, it's, I, it's, it's like a dissonance in my brain where it's like my brain, my, my actual brain, not my spirit, but my brain says, yeah, I get that you're short, but, you know, they can't see you. You know, you're pretty good looking and you present yourself as a, a, a real individual. If they can't see that, then, it, yeah, you could say, well, you know, it, it's their loss, but it's also just leave them alone. Like, just... It's not even that. Like, yeah, that's cool. That makes you feel good. Oh, this is their loss. But you kind of do want to, you know, teach them a lesson or just kind of, you know, uh, approve them wrong. And it's just, like, leave them alone. Like, that's just weird. And, and then here's one last thing. You know, this is a reflection on society. Why is it that I'm 5'2"? Why is it that a, a man who's 5'2 is labeled as a midget, right? Even dwarf. And some will even go as far as to try to uh, make the correlation medically, which I have another video about. I'll put the link in the description. It's where AMS was talking with this midget and was talking, literal midget, and was saying that short men, he, the video said short men have a chance too. They can play too, which I debunked that whole thing. Uh, uh, break down that whole thing, just tear it apart. But it's, a short man would be a midget, but then a woman would be the same height or even shorter is a spinner. No one looks at them differently. We'll be the same exact height. Shoot, spinners are... They're highly sought after in a, the adult industry, in uh, just in real life, or in, in escort services. So the problem is in height. Well, uh, I'm going to leave it right there. Uh, that's all for now. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my Saturday. Just take it easy. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's it. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the rest of your day.